So welcome to my... So here we are on location filming our Pokemon horror film. Now, the thing with our channel, with YouTube, with social media, is you want to take something that's really popular, take that idea, and then throw your own twist. In three, two, one, blast! Whoa! Welcome to the club. So right now, I'm just reviewing my shot list. Basically like my pre-production, how I envisioned the whole scene taking place. And then now we gotta adjust the light accordingly. And I'm just reviewing it because it's just better, in my opinion, to do pre-production and have your shots in place so you know what you're doing. So then you can move faster. You can know like what's already gonna happen. Or else you have to figure it out and then people have to wait for you before they can set up. But because we already know, they're already setting up for the next shot. I am just setting up the shot. We're a small crew. Very small crew, extremely small crew. And we're just trying to tell the best story we can for you guys that will inspire, uplift, and terrify all at the same time. Just in time for Christmas. It's really tight quarters, yeah. really tight quarters. So uh, we're not all in. Well, I'm just reviewing all the shot lists and everything else. So that way when we get filming, we can just start rolling and get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, just. I have a lot of Pokemon cards. I collected them when I was in junior high school when they were big. I still have them to yeah. this day. Probably gonna sell them. I don't even like Pokemon. Hello. Peace. I'm playing Tony Trap, uh, ex baseball star, and a single father. Taking care of my daughter, trying to protect her from Pokemon. Bennett actually is one of my favorite Pokemon. It has been since it came out, believe it or not, like in my top five. So, very excited to do the shoot, very excited to work on the script. Bennett generates energy for laying strong curses by sticking pins into its own body. This Pokemon was originally a pitiful plush doll that was thrown away. So, the boxes are just set decoration to kind of help sell, like these guys just moved in. We don't have a set decorator on this shoot, so we did it all ourselves, just okay. I mean, it's gonna be good. We're gonna be great. Who's that? Yeah, it's super fun. Fun to see a Pokemon story that I guess more oh, more complex. <laughs> Let go of my daughter, you stupid doll! <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Wish I had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you don't have a gun, do you? I'm playing Amber. <laughs> They're all just giving me silent actions. They're like, How is Zane as a director? He's good. Top, top directors you've worked with? Or one yeah. of the worst? No, he's not the worst. You take after your mom? No, my mom doesn't act. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my socks. <laughs> They're real nice. <laughs> and are you a big Pokemon fan? Nope. I'm a big Pokemon fan. Yes. I feel like all three of you though, like, really love Pokemon, and all three of you know so much about it. I think that AJ and Devin, I think they're bigger fanboys. I think AJ beats Devin. So I'm, um, so I can envision like how I want the shot, like, and then I want David to look, and then I'm, okay, then the camera moves after David looks at the doll. So I'm just kind of envisioning it, planning it, so that way. Wait, did you guys hear that? It's like the house is like falling down. What do you think of the script? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. The script is super fun. It's fun to have a Pokemon story that isn't bright and sunny and easy, easy going. You know, it's fun that there's a little bit more. Wait a minute. What's going on? <laughs> uh, How many roles has Jeff filled on this project? Part writer, sound design, first AD, grip, electric, best boy electric. So Jeff has been crushing it, and we haven't done a ton of like full on narratives, but he's taking ownership and run with it. I guess. So right now we're lighting for a new scene. Just always go back and look at my script just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And then it helps me remember my shot list and everything else that we planned out for how the scene was supposed to look. And you usually want to give about 20 to 40 minutes per setup because lighting has to change. Everything has to change. And it's not just like you just turn the camera because all the lighting is going to look different. So we just are trying to make it as efficient as possible where the lighting doesn't have to change as much or 
we're gonna turn the camera. This is not. This is gonna take less time. It's been super long because of COVID. Before we actually were on any big shoots like this, so this is like a breath of fresh air. We're exhausted. We got like I got like four hours of sleep last night, but I'm super super happy to be here. So I just don't want Lucy to fall. And so I'm breaking up the ice a little bit because it's getting evening time. The plow is freezing over, so it's getting really slick. So we are doing the monster POV, and one of the best ways to make things feel scary is add some foreground in a creepy little area in the woods, looking at other people. It gets a little creepy. And we actually rented an Airbnb. We reached out to them and said, hey, we're doing a film shoot. Just want to give you guys a heads up. So we got release forms, made sure everything was proper. We let them know exactly what we're doing. They were all cool with it, excited to see the film. And that's what we're doing right now. But Airbnb is an awesome place to get locations. Originally, we were going to film during the fall with all the leaves, but now we're filming in the winter in November. And they just happened to have a snowstorm yesterday, the first night of filming. So that's why it's like crazy snowy. Not ideal at first but now it's going in our favor because it just adds this really nice feel to it that, that I'm excited about. I'm so exhausted, but I love this. This is actually the second day of filming. We're gonna shoot the beginning stuff. So we shot a lot of like the middle stuff. We got basically the most of the script done yesterday. And today we're gonna shoot the very last scene and then immediately right after we're gonna shoot the very first scene because they're all outside and we try to group all of the same similar locations at one time. We are battling light. The sun is setting fast. We're in the mountains and it sets faster and it's cloudy, so it sets even faster. So the elements are against us, but we've got a clear focus, a clear vision, and a clear execution. We've got Asher here as our lead PA who's crushing it right now. You know what makes a good PA, Asher? I am whatever they want me to do, you know? Get the lights, get the boxes. Unwrap the Pokeballs. You know, I really like Pokemon. I think there's a lot of fan films out there right now and um, you know, some of them are, eh, they're okay, you know, but once you get the Devon Super Tramp treatment, I mean, it's just super awesome. I mean, the story is cool, the visuals are great. It's gonna be a really cool, awesome finished product. And it's snowing hardcore, so I'm trying to save the light so it doesn't get destroyed. But I'm also trying to save this three by three or whatever it is as well. So the snow's like coming down hard. It, it's a blizzard of biblical proportions, if you will. 24 inches tonight. So we, are banging on ceilings, mind you, and we're trying to do a complicated shot, essentially a one shot, full 360, while trying to sell nighttime. I'm really physically tired already. Making a pretty serious drama, but uh, Zane's got to bring his stuffed animals to work. So. Listen, man, it's a comfort thing. But we try and do things practical. We use actual Pokeballs. So I got my wife. It is not too late right now. 2.30, not too bad. AM, by the way. What are you doing, Mama? Oh, I got time for this. We're gonna animate this box like Bennett is stuck inside and trying to get out. So we're using fish line. It's a trade secret. Now we're actually filming the climax of the film, the ultimate battle. So we're very excited. We're on a hurry because we want to get Lucy out of here so she can get home and get some sleep. And then we're going to spend probably about two more, three more hours with David and then get the rest of the film done. Five more hours. Se seven more hours with David. I'm impressed with your body. Thank you. Okay. He's been working out. Keep on going. Okay, so. No, keep, let's, okay, and it's go. here, Lucy. <laughs> so after you fall down, it's here. I love you. Please. Ah, ah. So the force will just like out like this, like you can't. Stay behind me. Okay. What has been your favorite part of the shooting with us? Well, I'm pretty sure you know. You're getting all the good shots. Of me. When she was being, getting dragged away, I almost stepped on her like three times <laughs> when I was running after her. Oh, I didn't know that. Zane's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can be honest with me, he's nowhere near us. Yeah, Zane is, uh, Devin Graham is the least supportive person on this <laughs> set. Uh, the, the guy holding a flashlight to give you good lighting? Yeah. It's been a real challenge working alongside Devin. 
Apart from his massive body odor, he has uh, really made me feel embarrassed every moment, every step of the day, and he's put me in an unsafe environment. So I'm, uh, I'm just glad that we're nearing the end and I'll be released from this torture. Isn't he taking you home? Uh, it is approximately 3.21 a.m. in the morning. I've lost my voice, tensions are high. I bought the mine. I don't care who dies. Yeah, give me everything. And we're filming some close-ups right now and we're pretty tight. And it's a very sentimental scene, so we want to keep the shots smooth and steady. Filming the final scene of two days of filming non-stop. We're almost 4 a.m. But I have no thoughts. Here we are with Zane O'Gwen, our fearless director, and we're ready to get the shot done. We're doing the mic right now, getting the audio right. And here we go, roll sound, camera, speeding. Final take, uh, final movie, that's gonna be a final movie. And action. Cut, that was it. That is a wrap. Boom. What? No, what <laughs> that? Yay! We would love to do more videos like this. So with that said, we just launched a brand new program we're doing with Patreon, where we as a community can make projects happen together. We've had so many people say, well, how can we be a part of what you're doing? Well, this is the perfect way to do that. So on Patreon, we're gonna be doing polls where, okay, you guys wanna suggest us do a Metroid video or a Lord of the Rings video? This is how you guys can get involved. We want your guys' ideas. We want to be a team together with you guys as the community. We are going to make it happen. This is something brand new that we want you to be a part of Team Super Tramp. So down below in the description, we'll have all the information with Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Over and out.